Hello middle schoolers, today we're going to do a short mini lesson on searching for information. Hopefully this is a scenario that not many of you are familiar with. This is Steve. He had a week to find his academic resources on a topic related to bullying for health class. The week has gone by and now they are due tomorrow. He's stressed out. Let's help Steve out by teaching him bullying. The ghost is to help you remember the term. The official term is a bullying operators and there are three of them. And, or, and not. The rest of the lesson is going to teach you how to use these operators. A very savvy librarian has told us that we can find good resources on the library's website. So let's go to the middle school library website and go to one of the databases. Remember that EBSCO database is a good database to get a variety of topics. So here are the databases listed on the library's webpage. Let's go to EBSCO. Alright, so we made it to EBSCO's database. Um, oftentimes when I see students try to search for something, they use what is called a natural language search. So they type in the whole phrase of what they're looking for, like I want resources on bullying. And oftentimes this will get you some results, but with these extra words in here, it sometimes will confuse the database. So we don't want to do a natural language search. We want to do a concept search. The concept that we're really looking for is bullying. So let's see if EBSCO has any <clears throat> any resources on bullying. Hopefully that they do. <clears throat> Taking a second here. All right, so here are our results. We have almost 5,000 articles or resources on bullying. That's a, that's a lot to weed through. So what we want to do is use the bullying operators and or not and limit our search results. The and is one of the, the tools, the Boolean operators, that will limit our results. Now because we're middle school students, we want some resources that include Boolean and middle school because we're middle school students. So let's see if this limits our, our results at all. And it did. There's 194 resources that include Boolean and middle school. Just a quick review, the Boolean operator AND includes or will provide resources that must have both topics and it limits your results. I'm interested in bullying on the internet because when we talk about it I learned that bullying occurs online and I know that the term for that is called cyberbullying. So I'm going to use the OR Boolean operator because there are like terms. And I want to include resources that have both bullying and cyberbullying as major concepts. So I'm going to do this search here. Remember that you can type in the bullying operators up here, or it can use these drop down boxes to do that. And let's see, it did. It expanded our results by 10 resources. So now you can see it right here. We have cyberbullying now is a main concept. Just a reminder when you use the boolean operator or, It'll kick back a resource that may contain either or both topics, which will expand results. We know that bullying really messes with people's emotions, and sometimes it makes them make terrible, terrible decisions. But if I'm going to have to eventually do a, a report on this, I'm going to try to eliminate suicide from my resources. Because I have sort of a, a weak stomach, and I know that I would, I would never make that decision. So I'm just going to try to eliminate that from my search results. And it did. Eliminated it by 14. Quick reminder, using the Boolean operator not, the database will kick back a resource that does not contain that topic, which limits results. So we've done a really good job using our Boolean operators, and we have 190 resources that are really probably concise. We probably don't have too many that are going to be, you know, not going to be useful to us. But we still have 190. So I'll show you a neat little trick here that might help weed through some of these articles. We can move the publication date all the way into the last two years. So now we are our results are going to get limited one more time to publication dates that have been within the last two years. And we did. We have now 42 results that we can we can look through these, and we should feel re really confident in in what we found. And um, so that's how we use Boolean. And we help Steve or, or you guys complete your homework assignment on time in less than five minutes.